Hello everyone, welcome to BDAR, Berrien District Association of Realtors and our new home. Uh, my name is Tanya Artinozzi, I'm your 2019 BDAR president and we welcome you to our brand new facility. Today we inaugurate our new facility which will anchor our association. We'd just like to welcome a few special guests that are here with us today. Uh, our RIA president, David Reed, he's in the back taking pictures. And RIA directors, Sean Morrison and Mike Stalls. BEATER is a local non-for-profit association serving our real estate professional members in the Greater Barrie and Simcoe region to deliver high standards of professionalism and to better represent the local real estate needs in our community. BEATER is one of the largest organizations with over a thousand members working and living in the Greater Barrie Simcoe region and representing over $2 billion in real estate sales in 2018. On behalf of BDAR Board of Directors, members and staff, we are so thankful to so many who, of you who are a part of the association with some members here today achieving with us a 30 year status as a member. So I'd just like to, that's great. And to all of you, our community partners and stakeholders who are here today and who would like us to believe in the growth of BDAR and in the growth, investment, and confidence in the economic prosperity and quality of life opportunities in our region. We thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to celebrate this great moment with us. Over the years, BDAR has continued to advance and evolve, and I'd like to play with you a highlighted reel that captures what BDAR is all about. We are Team BDAR. Together we aim for the win for you, your clients, your business, and the community. We do that by connecting you with the best information, resources, and key players in the real estate industry. BDAR's expanding professional development and training opportunities has brought in leaders on statistics, safety, technology, marketing, professionalism, and more. In 2018, we had nearly 100 professional development sessions with record attendance. Over 1,500 attendees at these events, gaining extra skills and knowledge to give you the edge in a competitive industry. We are Team BDAR. We are connected to the community. This year, you, as BDAR members, impacted our community greatly, contributing in impressive ways to local charities while your association continued supporting housing initiatives throughout the greater Simcoe region, helping 4,000 families move into new homes in the region through our MLS system, supporting a vibrant commercial sector and encouraging businesses to plant in the area, being a large economic driver representing over $2 billion in real estate transactions in Simcoe County just in 2018 alone. We have formed strategic partnerships with Oria, CREA, local elected officials, the City of Barrie, County of Simcoe, and more to show them that our members are the experts in this market in terms of housing trends, value of home ownership, statistical data, analysis, and the community. Together, we have the passion, drive, knowledge, and technology to be at the forefront of the industry. In 2018, you were connected to data from 22 boards across Ontario, listings, and sales data from over 13,000 realtors, gained access to the most reliable trending sales information through the Home Price Index, had new strategies to communicate statistical information more effectively to your clients, were safer as you worked in your MLS system through the new remediation process. Your data was secured with high levels of integrity and consistency. In total, you have worked on over 10,000 listing actions within the matrix system. Your BDAR team is continually working on MLS system enhancements so you can get the most out of the robust matrix system. Together we have worked to make the association and the industry the best they can be through hundreds of volunteer opportunities on committees and task forces, member meetings and discussion groups, and an in-depth member survey to find out what's important to you. As we move into 2019, we are connecting with you even more. The new purpose-built member facility will have state-of-the-art technology, modern decor and amenities, act as a community training and technology hub, provide access and presence in the growing greater Simcoe County region. 
This facility is accessible easily from all major arteries in order to meet the growing needs in our region. It is a place for members and the community to gather, share information, and connect with each other. As we move into the next year, we will have an improved realtor shop like never before, including connections with local artisans and an e-commerce option for easy online shopping and direct shipping. An improved online presence via bdar.ca and social media channels. Our professional development program will be able to host more members and bring in more experts, including local economic development directors and land use planners, technology and statistical experts, legal reps to discuss important changes such as the Tenancy Act and the legalization of cannabis, and a back to the basics approach with lead generation and fast sales as a focus. In 2018, we built our team out. In 2019, we want to take BDAR to the top of the real estate game. We are Team BDAR, and we will do this together. As you can see, today's celebration highlights our mission to provide a welcoming, engaging community space that supports local BDAR realtors to be valued, trusted, and successful professionals in their community. At the, as the first choice for informed consumers and to confirm BDAR's unwavering commitment to be a valued part of the wider community. I'd like to share with you a short video to show you how the facility comes to life when it's being used. Peter believes in community and believes in working together to strengthen communities for all residents. Through our MLS system and home price index, we have exclusive access to housing market data that can help inform current residents and those moving into the region. And we have data for all residents and commercial properties and real estate trends. As BDAR members, we interact with Simcoe County residents daily and are often one of the first points of contact into Barrie and Simcoe County for prospective residents, investors, and businesses. We are engaged local experts with a pulse on the region that few others have. This is an experts we want to share with our partners and government representatives to help with the decision making that impacts living in our region. Beat our members are civic minded and the realtor community cares deeply about the things that shape our region. Realtors give where they live. Right here in Greater Barrie and Simcoe County, our members are actively engaged, whether it's coaching a hockey team, soccer leading Christmas cheer, being on the board of the new YMCA development, running for municipal offices, or participating in charitable organizations. BDAR is community focused and believes that the community prosperity is based in large part on shelter and home ownership. We have a strong focus on affordable housing and home ownership. BDAR knows that success is tied to a healthy, sustainable region. Barrie and Simcoe County is our home. Your interests are our interests. BDAR has much to offer for the good of the region and is and it is our pledge to partner, to give back, and to make a difference in the communities where we live and do our business. As a board, we are tasked with envisioning not what tomorrow holds, or even what next year holds for our association and industry. We are entrusted with directing the future of BDAR as part of this community for five, 10, even 15 years from now. Reaching a milestone like this can only be achieved through incredible teamwork, and I am honored to work alongside some of the best in the business and want to publicly acknowledge them. 
for their dedication and commitment to our 2019 Board of Directors and staff for helping bring our vision to life. Please stand and be recognized. Jeff Halford, past president. <laughs> President-elect Robin Jones. <laughs> Beat our directors, Bill Forsyth, Lindy Piercy, Sue McIntyre, Chantal Traversy, Finn Madsen, and Mike Montague. In particular, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the people that run with the ideas that the Board of Directors put together, and that's our CEO, Julia, and her staff. <laughs> you need good people to help you do great things, and these people are wonderful people to work with. They embarked on a journey that the Board of Directors set in place to almost three years ago, and they have worked tirelessly to make sure that what you see here came to life. But not only that, they work tirelessly to help our members make sure the information is correct, that the data is right, that when we go through our ups and downs, our realtor members aren't affected by anything. So to Julia and the team at BDAR, we thank you so much. It's not enough, everything that you do. Also, I'd like to acknowledge our partners in this project, Fernbrook Developments and Hassey Realty. I'm also pleased that celebrating with us today are some important members of our association and community whose significant contributions to the association have come before us and represented leadership within our association for over 30 years and who reached, helped us reach this milestone. So I'll ask you to stand when I call your name. These would be the past presidents of the Berrien District Association of Realtors. In 1985, Lil Wilkinson. One of my mentors, Stella Hutchinson. Jerry Hay. Ed Tracy. No? Yeah, there we go. Wendy Elsner. We're going to clap for her anyways. Bill Kindu. Bruce Shipley. Rob Alexander. And 2018 past president Jeff Halford. They will also be assisting us with the ribbon cutting. Right now, I would like to welcome Stephen Donkers, uh, constituency assistant to our MPP of Barry and Innisfil, Andrea Kangen, 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 get it right, to give us a few words. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Obviously, I'm not Andrea Kangen. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but um, today I'm representing both uh, MPP Andrea Kanchin and MPP Doug Downey. Uh, unfortunately, they couldn't make it today, but they asked me to come on their behalf to present these uh, scrolls of congratulations on the grand uh, opening and to uh, wish Team Bidar nothing but success. To now bring remarks from the city and a great supporter and friend of Bidar, the Honorable Mayor Jeff Lehman. Honorable. Honorable. <laughs> she doesn't know me. Um, actually, it was funny that yeah, some of you have heard this story, but the, the night I got elected uh, for the very first time as mayor, you know, we had the victory party after the, after the polls closed and got home at like three in the morning. And of course, I'm on like cloud nine. And my wife says to me, congratulations, this is an enormous accomplishment. But if you think I'm calling you your worship, you've got another, <laughs> another thing coming. Um, the, you know what, it's so, it's so symbolic actually being in this room um, uh, when I was asked to give you a, a few words talk about the, uh, the future of the city as well as obviously my enormous congratulations to the association on this milestone of, of opening this new facility and what it means for your organization and, and what you're able to do now for your members. 
Um, but uh, I was asked to say a little bit about um, what's coming in this city because it is such an extraordinarily exciting time. But I was sitting here thinking, Colin, if I'm not mistaken, that fence is the old boundary, right? Yeah. So this fence was the boundary, south boundary of the city of Barrie. Like you literally couldn't be any more south in the <laughs> old city of Barrie before annexation than this exact spot. And I love that when you design this building, as you uh, did with Fernbrook and, and Hasse together, um, you created this arrow pointing south, which is your boardroom. It's like you, you actually took the direction of growth and the direction of the market and gave it physical manifestation in this window, which is really awesome because you're literally looking, looking at the future. Um, so uh, what is coming in our, in our city? Um, I'll speak first about, uh, about how we're going up and then how we're going out. I mean, Barrie is the city with the, literally the highest rate of home ownership of any major city in the country. Uh, we have a larger percentage of our population that own their homes uh, than any other major city in the country. That is both a huge strength and a sign of a, a challenge in the rental market, to be sure, and, and the affordability challenge for many. But that, that strength of home ownership has been driven by the, f the, the, the formula in, in many ways that all of you know so well, that the, the quality of life here, uh, the type of housing that is possible, the type of lifestyle that's possible here, whether or not you're commuting uh, down the hall, uh, down the street, or down the highway, um, the, the quality of life here and the, the housing opportunity in Barrie has been such that we've become this tremendous family-oriented community with a great degree of home ownership. We've had a, prim a sort of primary product type, <laughs> though, for about uh, 30 or 40 years as the city has grown. And while what we're going to see to the south as the new annex lands build out will be more of that uh, product type as well, there is a much broader range of product that is coming. And I'll, but I'll talk about that in a minute. First, I want to talk about what we're seeing in our core area. So for years, the high-rise construction that we've seen in Barrie, largely, if it was concrete, it was driven by the view of the water. That created the value that allowed you to build high-rise in Barrie. And it was tough to do it elsewhere after about the 1970s. Just not a lot happened other than the condos in and around our waterfront. Version 2.0 of that is the developments that we've seen uh, come forward to the city and now be approved uh, at the YMCA site at Bayfield and Grove for four towers and 900 units. There's a similar scale development coming on the Barry Central site along with the new YMCA and the city's proposed uh, renovation of the Fisher Auditorium and the addition of conference space. That is a sort of 2.0 uh, high-rise development in Barry because of the scale of it and the mixture of uses and I think the significance uh, of that scale of development as well. What's coming in 19 is 3.0. We, we have some developments that are in at the early stage at above 30 stories. And it's going to be a really interesting conversation with our community around those developments because they are, they are well located, in, in my humble opinion, uh, but design is going to be absolutely critical. And the, the scale of um, the, the product type and um, uh, the relationship to the street is going to be uh, something new, really, for Barrie. This is part of the direction of growth, and we've seen on the arterial roads, on Young, on Essa, uh, even on Arda, on Ferndale, that sort of missing middle. In the, in, in the product mix, the three to six story apartments, um, the new entry level, more affordable entry level uh, type of product that our uh, young people are able to get into or folks who are downsizing in our community. And we're seeing a lot more townhouses, right? Now that we're seeing the, the new annex lands come on stream, there's a very broad range of, of unit types uh, in those communities as well. And I think, um, what do I see in the future? Well, first of all, we're about to hockey stick again on population growth. So the forecast that we've got in front of us would see us adding about uh, 2,000 households a year, uh, two to 3,000 households a year uh, over the next uh, 20 years. This, that's a substantial increase from what we've seen over the last 10 years, where our supply has been a little bit constrained in terms of the amount of new, uh, new build that's been available uh, particularly in lower density forms. But what is this driven by? I mean, cities don't grow unless they're prosperous. Um, yeah, now and again you get bedroom communities or places you know, that, that have a retirement sort of focus to them and that's what's driving the population growth. But our city started 2018 with an unemployment rate of 8.0%. It finished 2018 with an unemployment rate of 4.8%. Uh, we just had the single best year in the history of the city of Barrie for the value of industrial building permits. 
$42 million. It's a new record. And that's really interesting. And thank you to Colin and all the others who continue to believe in the strength of the local economy, fill units, and build new buildings, such as this wonderful uh, uh, development here, that uh, provide homes for expanding businesses in Barrie. That's the core of what drives a community's growth and at the core of what ultimately drives a real estate market. Because we don't have a vision for Barrie as a bedroom community. And while there's a widespread belief that a lot of our growth has come from a population that commutes to the GTA, actually the numbers don't bear that out. Barrie actually has one of the lowest rates of out commuting of any city in Southern Ontario. In fact, Ge Canadian Geographic magazine decided to do something about this. I'm a nerd, if, in case you hadn't noticed already. <laughs> Canadian Geographic magazine actually looked at all the cities in Southern Ontario, everybody, everything from Niagara Falls right around the Greater Golden Horseshoe up uh, as far as us, uh, and east to, uh, to Peterborough and Kingston and so forth. We had one of the lowest rates of out commuting of any of the cities in Southern Ontario. Uh, and that is actually because we are a regional economic center, and as much as there are people who, who commute out of town to work, there are people who commute into Barrie, primarily from the surrounding region. And that is also going to drive uh, the market in the district part of Barrie and District uh, Association of Realtors as well, because there is a lot of strength in our surrounding community as our, as our own economy continues to grow. But there's no question about the direction of growth. <laughs> you put it right into the design. Um, <laughs> We, there will be a brand new business park, um, which is being developed by the DeGaspers Group at Mackay and the 400. By the way, Mackay is where the next interchange is going on Highway 400, and this year the city will start designing that new interchange. We're building the bridge at Harvey Big Bay Point, which is key to traffic down here in the south end, and we're making a lot of the inve infrastructure investments that are needed to drive economic growth in the south end of, the of, of Barrie because this is the direction of growth, both uh, business growth and, and residential growth as we build out our new communities. So notwithstanding, we're late in an economic cycle and you always have to knock wood these days about um, the, the uh, exterior forces affecting our economy, everything from Trump to interest rates and everything else. Uh, we are a community whose economic fundamentals continue to be very, very strong. We did well 10 years ago, even in tough economic times uh, on the residential side. And uh, my belief is, even if there are uh, economic storm clouds out there, Barry is in a position to weather them better than most. But I will tell you right now, the numbers we saw coming out of 2018 were for a very, very, were a very strong year. 2018 is an economically a very, very strong year in this city. And I believe we're looking ahead to one in 2019 as well. So, on behalf of Barrie City Council, which is my formal duties as your <coughs> honorable <coughs> mayor, uh, it's to, is to bring greetings and congratulations to the executive, to the association, to Julia and the staff uh, who have this beautiful new home and you have this beautiful new hub for the real estate uh, industry in the city of Barrie. And I want to congratulate you on the accomplishment that this building uh, represents, uh, both in terms of the physical space uh, and what it means for your members and the strength of your organization. Congratulations. Next in our agenda, don't get comfortable, is we have our ribbon cutting. So, that being said, I'd like to ask Mayor Lehman, our 2019 Board of Directors, and our past presidents that are present to come up to the stage and we can do the ribbon cutting. One, two, three. Yeah. 